Hey everyone. Thank you guys for joining in on my video. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button as well. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be discussing the CPA exam as well as the CPA prep course, um, UWorld Roger CPA. And also in the title, you can see that there's a giveaway. So if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'll tell you all you need to know in order to enter the giveaway. I'll explain it and everything for you guys. So just the first topic of the video, what is the CPA exam? So I've made several videos about studying for the CPA exam and all of that good stuff. And I realized that some of you guys are probably, you know, college students or maybe even high school and you're just like, you're one to major in accounting, you don't really know what the CPA exam is. So I'm just gonna do like a quick um, FAQ about the CPA exam and what it is. So the CPA exam is stands for the Certified Public Accountant. And so all accountants, in my opinion, I feel like it's like the ultimate, I guess, I guess level of education or a certificate that you or license that you can get as an accountant. And so it's a certified public accountant. That's what it stands for. It is a four part exam that you have to take in order to get licensed. And those four parts consist of, there's an audit section, there's a FAR section, which stands for Financial Accounting and Reporting. There's a BEC section, which stands for Business Environment and Concepts. And there's a Regulation section, which is mostly like your tax and your business law section. So there's four parts of the CPA exam that you have to um, pass and, you, and that's how you become a CPA. You have to pass those four exams. It consists of multiple choice questions as well as simulations and then in their task-based simulations. And then um, for BEC, there is like a, a written portion there. So um, now you have also have to be eligible to actually take the CPA exam. And in one of my previous videos, I have documented what, um, I have documented some of those requirements, like the 150 hour requirement, you know, the different classes that you have to take in order to be eligible. So you have to be eligible to take it and then you sit for the CPA exam. So another FAQ is when to take the CPA exam. So as I said before, you can qualify or become eligible to take the CPA exam as early as, you know, when you're in grad school or after you finish grad school or if you take a different route um, and not do grad school, you meet those 150 hour requirements, you can take it as early, you know, as early as that, whenever, as early as you become eligible and some people become eligible while they're still in grad school. So um, in my opinion, I would take the exam as soon as you are eligible to take it, as soon as you're eligible. Um, and I just say that because it gets kind of difficult when you try to take the exam after you've already started your full-time job. And so the exam itself is already like a beating, it's tough, it's challenging. And so if you could get that thing knocked out before you start work, that would be the ideal time to get it. I know when I took the exam, I literally graduated um, grad school on a Saturday that Monday I was studying for the exam and so I tried to knock out as soon as possible and that really really helped me um, because I didn't really have to worry about it too much I had took one while I was working but I had knocked most of those out and so yeah so when to take it as soon as you're eligible just take the exam don't work don't wait the earlier the better to take the CPA exam and so Another topic that I wanted to discuss as far as the CPA exam is what is a passing score and how long is the exam? So how long is the exam and how long you have to pass off for for us? So, so for a passing score for the CPA exam, you have to make a 75 on each exam in order to get your credit for the exam. So it's not the same as 
you know, school or college, high school, where a 70 is pretty much a passing score. Um, just from my experience, a 75, not a 74, not a 73, a 75, and you're good to go. If you make a 90 or 100, whatever, I don't even know if you make a 100, but kudos to you. Say, I'll take my 75 and go on about my business. <laughs> like the 75 is all that you need to pass. And so each exam is approximately four hours. So you need about four hours to take each exam. And as far as how long do you have to pass the exam? Um, okay, so let me just go back a little bit. Those four exams, you do not have to take all of those exams at once. You take an exam one window at a time. And so there are certain periods when the CPA exam is available for you to take and you have to take it within those certain windows. So not all at once, not all in a day, they spread out. And so you have 18 months to take all four parts of the CPA exam and pass them. So for example, if I sat for FAR, right? If I sat for FAR, I passed it. From that point on, I have 18 months to pass all the other three exams or you will lose your credit. So if I took FAR and I failed it, then my 18 months doesn't start. It does not start until you pass that first exam. So 18 months in, 18 months, it may seem like a long time, but I kid you not, some people, they're taking an exam, they will pass it, but then they take so long to pass the other three that they can lose that credit. So if you don't pass all of those exams, you can lose that credit once you get past the 18 months. So you definitely want to just give it your all and just do your best to get all of those exams passed within that 18 month time period. There's nothing like um, sitting for an exam, going through that process, passing the exam, and then losing that credit. Like that is, I would not want to have to go through that. With that, with that being said, and I think I've explained this in one of my other videos, I would recommend taking the CPA exam. I would recommend taking the hardest one first. That way you've gotten the hardest one first out of the way and your time doesn't start ticking until you pass the other three. So let's say I say this because let's say you take one that you consider the easiest first and you pass that and your time starts ticking from there. So I would recommend taking the hardest one first that way, you know, if you don't pass it the first time you have until you pass it before your time starts. And the worst, you don't want to take an easy one and then it takes you longer to pass that second one and your time is ticking, if that makes any sense. As far as how do you schedule the CPA exam? So there is a um, testing center and it's called Prometrics. And so that's where you will schedule and take your CPA exams at. So Prometrics is online 24 hours. So you pick one of their testing centers that is closest to you. You just go online and fill in all of the necessary information in order to get your exam scheduled. And you would have to go to that particular testing center that is closest to you. And then that's where you take the CPA exam at. And then, the last thing I wanted to discuss would be the cost of the CPA exam. So the CPA exam, it ranges from, I believe like $176 to $195. So I believe Audit and FAR are $195 and then BC and REG are $176. And then before that, there's an initial application fee that you have to pay for and that's $50. So, um, yeah, so almost $200 for each exam, just to round it up. And so altogether about $800, right? So that can get pretty expensive, right? So you definitely want to give it your all when you're studying for these exams. From there, I can say that a lot of firms do um, offer some type of reimbursement for the CPA exam once you... Um, 
pass the exam and you pay those fees. So that is definitely something that I would look into if I were you, see what benefits or what your company offers as far as the CPA exam. And then most companies also pay for your CPA prep course as well. And so this segues into the next topic that I wanted to discuss, which is the CPA prep course, particularly you Earl Roger CPA. Now, I, I don't think that anyone, anyone could pass the CPA exam without having a CPA prep course. I mean, I just think it's impossible. If you know anyone, please let me know because I have not met one person that does not need a CPA prep course in order to pass this exam. As you all know from my previous videos, I, I use Becker when I studied and I use Becker because the firm that I was working for, they had partnered with them and, you know, partnered with them, had a, you know, some type of arrangement where um, they offered Becker. And so that's why I went with that. And so a lot of co other companies probably have the same, some similar setup where they are partnered with this particular CPA prep course and they um, pay for it that way. But as far as you were a Roger CPA, don't forget to stick around so I can tell you guys how to enter this giveaway. It's so amazing. Just stick around so that you can hear about the giveaway. So. You, are, you may know you were a Roger CPA. You may just know it by Roger CPA review. And that was before they merged with this company called UWorld. And so they are now UWorld Roger CPA. So you may be just familiar with the word Rogers. They've been around a long time, well known. They have the brand name recognition as well as some of the others like, you know, Glyme, Wally, Becker, Sturgeon, all of those. So very name brand. And so they are sponsoring this video and I was able to have a great discussion with one of their representatives over there. And so I, I had already heard about Roger. I was already familiar with Roger. They were already well known. So I knew that they were a very reputable company and that a lot of people have had successes with studying for the CPA exam and passing using their software. So it wasn't hard for me to do this collaboration with them at all. But from my standpoint, if I am going to be, you know, collaborating with them, getting them to sponsor my videos, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I was able to look at their software and see what they all had to offer for myself. That way I can let you guys know and I can, I've actually been through it and seen it in not just you know not just trying to get you guys to buy stuff like i really wanted to see the software for myself and i think it's great software so i was able to talk to one of the representatives i walked through the software with them asked them several questions so you are roger they have very high quality content you know just looking at the software is very easy to follow each section they have the chapters you know separated out you can study by chapter and then they have Roger who he does the live videos. And I actually asked some of my followers prior to doing this collaboration with them, I actually asked some of my followers, what are some of the um, CPA prep courses that they use and why? And several people told me that the ones that use Roger, they told me that they really liked his live videos. And so I think that's a great thing having an instructor in videos who's very entertaining and can keep you engaged. So that is a great thing. I know that with some of the other courses they have, you know, some of their instructors may be a little boring and you might be falling asleep. And that's not what we want when we're trying to get our CPA license, okay? So, yeah, so they have the, the videos. Who is Roger? He does the live videos. And so, yeah, the system, very easy to follow. And they also have the ebooks and they have the they actually have paper hard copy books as well if you choose that certain package that offers that but you know the ebooks i think that with technology nowadays just having the ebook is very very convenient you can follow through on your phone or laptop and i think that is great sure. so i think the quizzes and the multiple choice questions and things are really great not only 
Like for example, if I'm taking a quiz and I answer this question incorrectly, it will let me know why I got that answer correctly. So if you have A through D and you pick C and C is the right answer, it'll explain to you, yeah, you got it right. This is why it's right. But for the others, it will also give you an explanation as to why those are not right, which I think is really good. That way you can really understand you know, why these answers are right or wrong. And they also have illustrations for every question. And so if you're like me, I am kind of like a visual person. I like to, you know, I like to write stuff down, pictures. It just helps me understand material better. And so I think that is a great thing that they have on there, the illustrations, which are very, very helpful. Okay, now I want to discuss their flashcards. So I walked through this with the rep as well. Their flashcards, I think, are absolutely amazing. So as I discussed on the multiple choice questions, how they have the wrong answers, how they explain to you why certain answers are wrong or right in illustrations, they actually have that on their flashcards as well. And another good thing on their flashcards is, let's say, for example, you know, there's a topic that you, you have it down, you have nailed it down, you really don't need to spend a bunch of time on it. You can mark that flashcard, you can mark that topic as easy, and that way it'll be less likely to come up in the shuffle once you're studying your flashcards. It will less likely show up because you have marked it as easy, and there's no, you know, no need to, for you to keep studying the same thing over and over you already have it down. Versus if there's a topic that you're struggling with, you can mark that one as hard or challenging, and that topic will mo most likely continue to come up in your flashcards. And so I think that's really, really good. And for myself, I remember when I was studying and using my flashcards, I would focus more on the areas that I was having a hard time with. And that way, you know, when I'm doing my flashcards and it's, you know, kind of closer to taking my exam, I would really focus myself on those topics that I was having a hard time with. And so for them to offer this in their system, their digital e-cards, I think that is great. And I'm not, I'm not just saying this, you guys, like I really, when I was talking to her, I was like, this is really good. You know, like I really just feel very comfortable letting you guys know about this. And another thing is they also have the full length practice exam. So that is a uh, great. So when you're just getting ready to take that exam, they actually have the full length practice exam that replicate the real exam that you're going to take for Prometric. So for myself, what I used to do is I would just go to a quiet place where I can just sit down and pretend like I'm in Prometric. And so for them to have that full length practice exams, um, which is very similar to the real exam, I think is very helpful. And I think that's a great tool that they have on there as well. You can practice your, you know, how to pace yourself with the four hour exam. Four hours may seem like a long time, but when you're in Prometrius and you're taking that exam, time is flying by. And so I feel like you can really pace yourself and kind of get a feel for how the real exam is going to be. So, which I think is awesome. And so the last thing that I want to discuss about um, you, Earl Roger, is they have this smart path predictive technology smart path predictive technology it's a tool that they have on there which will really let you know kind of where you're at as far as being prepared for the exam it lets you know the type of scores that you need to be making in order to make you feel comfortable about passing the exam so let's just say it tells you that you need to be making let's say maybe a 88% on this certain subject or topic, and then you'll be prepared for the CPA exam. I think that's really, really great. It's based on, you know, real data from previous students who have passed the CPA exam. It also lets you know, based on your, you know, based on your studies and how you've been doing on your quizzes and practice exam, it also lets you know, you know, the areas that you should be spending your time on and which is great. 
you know, that way at, when you're scrambling at the end, trying to figure out what you need to study, what you don't need to study, it kind of helps you come up with a game plan for the items that you need to be studying. The last thing that I wanted to discuss was their, their app. So their app is a full service app, you know, compared to some of the other um, CPA prep courses they just have limited things that you can do while using their app and so you were a watcher they have like a full service app it's just images your computer as if you were on the computer so which i think is great and it's very convenient you're riding in the car and you have a break from work or you know just anything you can just pull up your phone and you know study and do quizzes and everything as if you had your computer but you don't have your computer you just have your phone which is really great and very convenient so i think and so uh, that's those are the things that um some just on a high level some of the things that i think is really really great about you Royal roger and like i said this is a sponsored video they have sponsored the content but i like i said i already knew about roger before they reached out i knew that they were a very very reputable company and so it wasn't hard for me to do this collaboration at all so i really think you guys should look into roger view world i really think you guys should look into you world roger and see what they have to offer and they have a seven day free trial that you can do and i'll put the link in the description box for that seven day free trial and you can go on there and you know see test things out for yourself and also when you guys do that come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it and so now for the giveaway so the giveaway includes one free course for one section of the cpa exam so you can pick far audit b c or red you can pick which section that you want to take for free using you real roger and that's like 399 for you know about 400 bucks you know that you don't have to come out of pocket to study for this exam okay guys so in order to enter into the giveaway you have to sign up for the seven day free trial using the link that is in my bio so you have to use the link that's in my bio in order to enter the giveaway because that's how we're going to track you so enter the seven day free trial sign up for the seven day free trial leave a comment on this video as well as follow me on instagram at underscore marissa monet and then that's how we're gonna um track the person that has won the giveaway so you guys please stop this is a free course like sign up like you guys can win a free course for one section of the cpa exam which i think is very 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 valuable so go ahead and do that and i will see you guys in my next video whoever the winner is i will reach out directly to you we're going to give you guys a week to um enter into the giveaway and so i will reach out directly to the person that won so everyone good luck and i will see you guys in my next video bye